Hi everyone, welcome back to Elder Gal. I'm Allison. I'm going to share something with you today on YouTube that just it touched me to my core and uh, I, I changed what I was going to do for the video for today because of it, because it just inspired me. So I'm going to play this for you through here. This is the purest video I've seen in a while, and it just restored my faith in humanity. Shout out to this man. Can you turn those lights off? Which ones? The ones that are keeping me awake at night. Which ones? Road bikes, are they keeping you awake? Yeah, I don't mind it. Keep them on till 10 o'clock. Charlie, we went through this before, sweetheart. What? We went through this before. I mean, I have to put pillows over my windows so I can sleep. The cops came and they looked at the road bikes. They said they're not shiny in your window. But I'll do you this. I will turn them off at 10 o'clock. Okay? Is that okay? Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry. Oh, no, you're fine. I got you. I don't mean to be a mean neighbor, and I want you as my neighbor. I got it, John. I just think you just need some company. And if I'm off and you ain't got nothing else to do, if you want to come on the patio, bring your bottle of wine, come chill with your boy, I got you. Okay. All right. Love you, Journey. I'm sorry. No, don't worry about it, sweetheart. You do it. This is the purest video I've seen in a while. I this is a video called uh, Everybody Needs a Neighbor Like This. It's on shorts. Please watch it. Um, I've got tears in my eyes just seeing it again. The first time I watched it, I just was like Ted tears streaming down my face. And what's so beautiful about it, you can tell this one is not staged. Sometimes you see stuff on YouTube, on shorts especially, and you can tell it's staged. You can tell this is not. This woman clearly has some issues with age-related issues. She might even have some dementia. And you can tell that he's been dealing with her a while, but instead of being nasty to her or frustrated or whatever, he's just kind. He's just kind. And then he suggests to her, not only is he willing to turn off the lights that she says bothers her after 10 o'clock at night, but he says, I think you just need some company. And this speaks to an issue I've talked about on this channel when I did the elder orphan video about this. And I talked about when people are alone and isolated. And it doesn't mean everyone's lonely all the time. I don't get lonely very much myself. But the thing is, once in a while, we all need company. Everyone needs company from time to time. And that video was so beautiful, so beautiful. Because it's about the purity of just the simple act of helping someone in whatever way you can. It's the purest act that you can do. A kindness, a small kindness. He just said she could come over and he would just hang with her. Just because she thought she needed company. I mean, that is beautiful. It's beautiful. And it inspired me. It inspired me. I got to tell you, because I don't know if I've shared this before on this channel. By the way, I'm just winging this. And if you can hear my air conditioner in the background, sorry, it's a hot day. Have to have the AC on. But I'm just winging this today because I had something else completely planned. And I went, no, no, we have to reset on this. We have to reset. And if I can inspire you at all to go out and do an act of kindness, a small act of kindness, then, then, then I will have done my work here. Then I will have done something here that will hopefully spread. You know, the old saying, pay it forward. You basically do something and then you pay it forward. Well, I can tell you why this hit me at the right time. Because in the last few weeks, when my channel's just been growing and things have been changing and there's been a lot more stressors and everything else, it all goes with the territory. Oh, I'm not complaining. I'm very grateful. I'm very grateful. I worked hard to, to even get my channel to this point. But it is stressful. It is very stressful sometimes. And the other day I had just one of those days where, you, you know those days, you have a down day where mentally you're just not in a good place and I was really grumpy and I was really irritable and I just thought, you know, I'm, it's too much pressure. You know, you have days like that. And the thing is you get wound up in yourself and you don't think about what's the best way to get out of that. You know what the best way to get out of that is? Stop thinking so much of yourself. Stop thinking so much of yourself. And... 
I had to see that today. And today I was not in a bad mood or anything, but I just happened to catch that. Came up on my shorts feed and I just thought, wow, wow. That's the whole thing. That's the whole message right there. You know how you get out of your own head and stop rolling around in your own? You know, it's really interesting. When I did the video on the elder orphans, which it went viral, basically, uh, I got, I had really distinct comments about that video from different perspectives. And it was interesting because everybody read something into it a little differently. I I didn't think that I came across in that video being like self-pitying and going, oh, woe is me, because that was not my attitude about it. I was being very realistic about it. I was talking about the challenges of getting older, but I was also offering, if people bothered to watch to the end, I was telling people what they could do to overcome some of that, to deal with some of that, that you have to have a positive attitude to get through some of this stuff. Well, I had people that had commented about how negative it was and how horrible it was, and I was just full of self-pity, and I don't think I was doing that at all. But that's how some people interpreted it, which is fair enough. Everybody looks at things through the lens of their own life, okay? Everyone looks at things through the lens of their own life. So getting back to this, so you know why I'm doing this video today? Because I'm making a promise to you on this video that for the next week, probably longer than that, but I'm doing it as a challenge to myself for the next week. It's the be kind, do one kindness a day for someone else. Be kind, do a small kindness for someone else every day for the next seven days. And that's what I'm doing. I'm resolving to do that today. That will take me, today is a Sunday. So that will take me through uh, till Saturday, Sunday. When I have my live stream next Saturday, I will share with you what, what's been going on with that. And I hope that if you join in the chat that day, you'll share what's been going on for you if you choose to take this challenge. I think this is one of those positive challenges where when you go out in the world or you're talking to someone on the phone or whatever, just do something kind like that gentleman did to that older lady. That was beautiful. He just had this kindness in his voice. I let you listen to that because it just was so, I couldn't have shared it any better than just having you listen to the whole minute of that. But that's, that's what everything's about. You know, if every single person out there did a kindness for every other person every single day of our lives, do you realize how much better the world would be? It'd be amazing. And I'm not a pie in the sky, you know, crazy optimist person. I'm very much a realist. But I also know that small acts of kindness is what changes the world. So I got inspired by that today, and I'm making this challenge for myself, and I'm holding myself accountable through you guys on this channel. You know that I've made this promise. So now every day for the next seven days, and probably beyond that, because I'm probably going to enjoy it so much, I'm going to continue to do it. But every day I have to find a way to do a small act of kindness or even a larger act of kindness. It depends. For, for someone else whether it's on the phone, whether it's online, whether it's in person, but I have to do that. I have to do that because it's the one thing that gives my brain a reset to remember not to get so wound up in my own stuff. Yeah, I got to deal with my own stuff. It's still there. I can still do the act of kindness and come back and deal with what I got to deal with. You know, if I didn't, I know I've shared this, I think, in at least one other video on my channel, but I don't remember which one. But being generous, and I don't mean just about money, I mean being generous of spirit, did not come naturally to me because I was not raised with that. I was not raised in a generous family. I, my family, although my father was a wonderful person in many ways, he was generous and kind to me and to the family, but he was not, in essence, a generous of spirit person. 
He was a good person, but he was not essentially generous of spirit. And I know that because in my adult life, I've met people truly generous of spirit, and I'm always awed by them, and I'm always amazed by that. And to know that there are people out there that were raised to be generous to other people and kind to other people. I was not raised to be horrible. I was not, you know, raised to be mean to people, but I was not raised with that sense of being generous of spirit. My mother was not at all that way. And so everything when I was growing up revolved around the family and what you could do for the family or, you know, within that small little bubble. It was never about going out in the world and doing good in the world. I was never encouraged to volunteer. I was never encouraged to do anything like that, to like give back or do anything. So any amount of generosity I have developed over the years has been hard won inside myself. It has been a, it's been a tough battle at times because I was not raised with that. I was not raised, I, I didn't grow up thinking that was just normal. But now I realize that everybody should be raised with that. We all should be raised with that. So I put the challenge to you if you're willing to take it up. To go out there, you're, this video is coming out on Wednesday, to go out there for a week and see about doing at least one kind thing to a person every day. And, and it will, and, and you don't, you know, I'm not going to, I'll tell you how I did when I do my live stream Saturday. I'm probably not going to go into details because it's not about bragging about it. You don't go out and then brag and say, oh, I was really nice to this person. Like, it's not about that. I just, I will hold myself accountable to you though and let you know that I did at least one thing every day. Probably won't tell you what all the things are, but I will tell you that I did it or that I didn't do it. Because I'll be honest with you. You know I'm real and I will be honest about it. And if I miss a day, I will tell you I missed a day. We have an elder gal community here. There's a bunch of you that watch the videos. Even if 10% of you go out and take up this challenge, that would be great. Because again, it's about the ripple effect of it. It's about the fact that when you do something nice for somebody else, they're also inspired to then do something nice for someone else. And so forth and so forth. So... Pay it forward, as the saying goes. So hopefully we'll all do well. Let's cross our fingers and keep our intentions intact. This video was just a last-minute call after watching that video. I just got inspired, and I had to do something. So anyway, have a wonderful week, everyone. Until next time, be well, be kind, keep moving forward, and take care. Bye.